morning. Uh, this morning we're going to have a look at the uh, 2013 Jayco 26 RLS Rear Living Room Slide Unit. Quick overview of the outside. Uh, this unit here is what's called a green trailer. There is no uh, material in this one will produce formaldehyde or any other gases and it's a very, very high rating and very, very few trailers have it. Notice the ladder, full walk-on roof. This is the new mega roof and there is a 4,200 pound weight rating for the roof of this trailer. Your siding is aluminum, it's a 024 uh, aluminum, very strong, very durable, the material, the paint and things are baked on. On this side we have in the 2013 model, your outside shower, your black water flush, your cable TV input, but more importantly, your outlet for your sewer is in front of the rear axle, so it is well out of danger's way if you get into any holes. While you're down there and John's using the camera, look at your clearance. It's a full 23 inches of clearance uh, where most trailers in this class are somewhere down in the 17 inch range. You have full through and through storage on this unit. Uh, full line of floor, full uh, wood and screw um, framing, no OSB board, no particle board. Again, your green rating comes into play. Stepping around the front, you have a rock shield on the uh, front of the trailer where most people damage their own trailers and rocks coming up off the truck or the pickup. You have a pair of 30 pound propane bottles under here which give you a longer stay. If uh, we have customers that, that will last them an entire season. Structure steel frame, same type I-beam framing they make buildings out of. Very, very strong, no flex, therefore no frame. Jayco is the only company that has the faith in their product to put a full two-year bumper-to-bumper warranty on their products. The light bulbs aren't on warranty. They're made to wear out. Other than that, it's covered. Again, this is the other end of your uh, through-and-through storage, which is under the head of the bed. Very, very heavy-duty jacks for stabilizing this unit. Um, come with a speed wrench, or if you have a 19-volt drill, you can have power jacks go slow. Your spare tire is not mounted on the back, it is on a jack and it comes under here and lowers down like a Ford or a Chevy pickup truck. Two door unit. You have a bedroom door here, uh, and 24 inch entry door with a separate two step. Moving along, outside ground fault plugs, comes with an outside barbecue, your hot water tank, Atwood is here with a 17.8 gallon per hour recovery from a six gallon tank. Very, very much of an upgrade from previous years. Potable water, another set of uh, ground fault plugs, obviously tandem axles with uh, painted steel wheels. Have an assist handle that goes in uh, for those days when it's slippery or you got other things in your hand. And this trailer, as built, weighs 6,554 pounds with full propane tanks. Let's go inside. While you're there, as you come in, all your controls are at the doorway. So your power awning, your slide, your both your propane and your 110 hot water and your water pump are all here and your monitor panel is right there. All nicely put away for when you want to use it. All your windows especially uh, across the back and everything else, are all the fabric pull-down blinds. The only window that has a Venetian on is at the kitchen, which by law, it must be a metal blind for the Canadian standards. You have a, da a Davenport type couch, pulls out very easily, goes down to a bed. Um, and then for the other days, when you want more room, you have a full U-shaped dinette that will come out. Another set of uh, seating and stuff like that and you have room for more people to sit around the table. All tucks away from when the slide goes in or when you just don't have that many folks. All your drawers again in the Jayco are full length. They are all plywood and they're all on ball bearing rollers. Same with these drawers here. Everything is made to stand up because they have the jam to put the warranty on them. 
you have air conditioning in this unit and it's all ducted. So this is where your air conditioning comes out through the ducts from the central unit here. Cabinetry, three burner stove, 6.3 cubic foot uh, fridge, um, all standard equipment on the 26 rear living room slide, AM FM, CD player as an entertainment center, and there is outside marine speakers on this unit for the nights when you're sitting out under the awning for your entertainment. You have a tub and you have a shower and you have a porcelain toilet. So very much easier to keep clean, much like a residential style. Counter space medicine cabinet in the bathroom. Very good point in the bathroom. You have heat in the floor and you have air conditioning in the roof. There is a lot of trailers out there that do not have air and heat in the bathroom. In August you want the air. In November you want the heat. Stepping through this way, you come into a walk-around queen bed. Again, with full storage underneath. On hydraulic jacks. And you will notice this mattress is sitting on a plywood uh, platform, not an OSB platform. Again, green trailer, also very strong. Shirt closets, storage closets, air conditioning vent, and then at the corner when you come in, you have another closet set up. And you have a spot for a television with your cable and your antenna plug-ins there. The flooring in these units is uh, Armstrong and it is glued entirely so you don't get into the uh, contraction and the splitting that was very common in trailers for a while. This is a very well-built 